My name is Andrew Orgulo. I am a proprietor here in Ngong. I own this small business. I've studied uh, international finance in uh, Northern Virginia University College in Annandale, Virginia. Prior to this, I've worked in the United States. I've worked in Dubai and Singapore. I was diagnosed with um, HCC hepatocellular carcinoma, that is liver cancer, in August of 2018. What happened is I had this nagging back pains for the longest time, for almost two years. And I tried everything. I, I was on painkillers every day. I changed my mattress in the house. I put cushions in my car. Um, where I was working in Westlands, I had a special seat made. Finally, one day I went to see the doctor and he had me do an ultrasound. And that's when the diagnosis began. So the ultrasound was not very clear. And my doctor had me go for a, a CT scan of the abdomen. The CT scan confirmed what the ultrasound had kind of seen. But just to be more specific, they ordered me to do a biopsy, a liver biopsy, which I did. I knew God, but I was not very spiritual at the time. But when Bishop was praying, at one point he said, you're healed, and he touched the right side of my abdomen, which is where the liver is. And I was shocked. I think I lost my glasses. I didn't know how they fell. I almost fell down. I always wondered how people fall down when they're praying. We traveled to India for treatment to begin. And in India, they had to redo the tests. So they read all the lab work. And when they came to do the CT scan, they did it. And it took a while, almost 30 minutes longer than what was done in Kenya. I even got worried. I was wondering what is this these people are seeing in me that they keep doing this thing over and over. And when it was done, the doctor came to me and he was shocked. He told me, Andrew, the CT scan shows that there's no cancer. I almost fell on my knees. And I asked him, what do you mean? He said, well, there's this big tumor that probably will kill you that we have to remove. But I don't know how to explain to you, there's no cancer. I still don't understand what he meant. And he said that, well, the tumor is well encapsulated. He said, it seems like the tumor has taken the sh like the shape of your body. It's, the outer covering of it is very strong. So all the cancer cells are in it, in the, you know, like in the tumor itself. So it's growing big, but it's not spreading. What they were going to do was called a trisegmentectomy. That would involve cutting off three quarters of my liver, removing the gallbladder, and then, you know, letting the liver regrow. And when the doctor came to me, my surgeon, not the doctor, but the surgeon, and he had this same look my doctor had before. And he told me, Andrew, we did a different surgery. I don't know how this happened, I can't explain it. But he said, when we went in, what we found is not what we saw on the scan. I asked him, what do you mean? And he said, well, I don't know how to explain this to you, but usually the scan tells us how to do the surgery. So we have the scan and we open you up, but it's like things were not what we had seen in the scan. So in my mind, I'm thinking, wow, this is God. So they did a, a simpler surgery. They didn't cut off three quarters of my liver, they just cut slightly above, slightly below a half. So since they didn't get to the left lobe, that meant they didn't have to take off the gallbladder. Might be going through the same experience, not necessarily going through the same experience. Let them know that if this is what God can do, to me, who didn't know, what if you seek him first? Anybody who can hear my message, seek God. Seek Him first, always, in everything that you do. Don't despair. 
and especially to people with cancer. Don't give in most of the times when you get this diagnosis. That in itself can kill somebody. I know it has killed me. They give up even before the medication starts. Find a church, a nice home-based church that believes in the Bible. Pray every day and um, don't give up. Fight. It's amazing what God did for Mr. Andrew Oro and he can do that for you as well. So there is freedom from pain and there is freedom from sickness. The Bible says in the book of Luke chapter 18 verse 27 that whatever is impossible with men is surely possible with God. Be sure to keep it here at Fadili Diaries, your home of inspiration. God bless.